In this video, we will explain how to use PyCharm Educational in order to create and check a simple Python program. To start, we will create a new project in PyCharm. All program code from this course will be saved in this project. We will also demonstrate how to save exercises in different folders within a project. Let's start. We start PyCharm and select the option Create New Project. Select a pure Python project. In the location window, replace Untitled by the name of your project. Programming. By default, the projects are saved in the folder PyCharm Projects on the local disk. If you want to change this, you can click this button and choose another location. In the interpreter window, select the appropriate Python interpreter. After the project is created, this screen will pop up. Within this project, we will have several series of exercises. In fact, there will be one series per week. In order to organize the code, in a readily understood format, we create a folder per series. To do this, select the project in the project tool window. Then, in the file menu, select new and choose directory. The name of the directory for the first series will be series 01. In this folder, we will keep our programs from Series 1. We create a first Python program file. To do this, we select a Series 01 target folder in the Project Tool window on the left. Now, in the menu, select File, New, Python file. And enter the name of the file. In our case, sum of integers. In the Project Tool window on the left, you will see the created file appear as sumofintegers.py in the Series 1 folder. We can now start coding in the editor. In this first program, we shall compute the sum of two given integers. The user supplies two integers m and n, each on a separate line, and the program computes the sum and prints the result. In every program file, we will add commands as a documentation of our code. These commands provide a structure for our code and in the meantime describe the different steps to take. In the current exercise, the user supplies two integers. The program computes the sum of two integers and prints the result. We start coding. When reading the two terms, we use two variables m and n. The variable m gets the value of the first input, the variable n gets the value of the second input. Data entered in this way are always stored as a string. Since we want to use these values m and n to calculate, these string values must be converted into integers. Converting strings into integers can be done using the int function. We add both lines. The variables m and n now contain two integer values. In the second part of the solution, we compute the sum and display the result using the built-in function print. A syntax error occurs. This is being indicated by the red curvy line. In this case, we did not use round brackets when calling the print function. As you can see, errors are immediately reported by PyCharm. The erroneous 
code is underlined with a red curvy line. If you hover the mouse pointer over this curvy line, the detailed information about the error appears and you can get a suggestion to correct the syntax error. We correct the error like this and the file is saved automatically. We can now run the file for the first time using the green button or choose run sum of integers in the context menu. At the bottom of the screen you now get a run tool window. The text we provided at the first entry appears. We enter a first term. The text we provided in the second instruction appears and we enter the second term. The program now computes the sum and prints it. We created our first correct program. Note that the line numbers in the editor window are displayed automatically. You can turn this option on or off by selecting or deselecting show line numbers in the context menu. This completes the video that tries to show us around the Python environment. A new project was created, folders were prepared and a first program was written, saved and tested.